It's all power world, mining, metal, people listen up. So forget everything you think you know about the best way to farm all lux or metal lux in power world. This method I bring you today will result in the fastest way possible you could ever do to farm these metal or lux, these nodes in power world. Check this out. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and before we go any further I'm giving away a couple of copies of this game or any game of your choice. To be with a chance of winning for yourself or a friend, simply drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. I will pick winners from the comments of my videos and announce them at the end of the week, so good luck. So this method in farming all rocks to get that metal is literally the very best and fastest way to do so in the game. No hanging around, no fuss, no problem at all. You need all you don't have time to wait or don't want to wait, this is 100% for you. This is the ultimate end game strat. Now it's obviously from the gameplay you're seeing on screen now that it's more or less end game only due to the power that we are using. I mean yes you can get this power early on but the saddle is required which you won't unlock until they're level 47. But once you're at this level guys you can take advantage of this incredible power known as Astagon. One of only two powers in the entire game with that level 4 in mining. This can also be raised to a level 5 when you infuse 116 other Astagons using the condensation machine. But guys, it isn't just this, you do need something else. And that is a certain skill only seen on electric powers, which we will come to in a second. So as you can see with my setup and how I do this, it breaks all rocks within the vicinity and then we just go to the next spot. Exactly how I do this is the most efficient way in you scouring the map and farming certain materials, which I will explain in a second. So back to the skill which makes this possible. The skill is called Lightning Strike and well, this skill is exclusive to powers like Mossander Lux, Univolt, Dazzy, Dinosaur Lux, Bushy, Relaxosaurus Lux, Grisbolt and Orzerk. Problem is, none of these powers have that mining work suitability stat, so you can't use them for this. I already tried that. So the only way to get this skill is to find it within a higher level chests or from a skill fruit tree. Yeah, they can drop these, but they are ultra rare. Let me tell you, they are crazy rare guys. For days, I cycled the map looking for this skill. I found hundreds of other skills, but never did I find this one. So I sat there and experimented. And the way I figured out how to get this on my Astagon is pretty straightforward, through breeding. Now personally, what I know about breeding is what I've learned through doing it myself. And yes, skills do indeed, well, can indeed pass down. It isn't a guarantee every time, but it can happen. And well, that's how I got my Astigon with this skill. So what I did was I went out and got myself a Grisbolt with decent passives who you yourself will need. To get a Grisbolt if you don't have one already guys, they spawn down here on this island. Now down here they're roughly around a level 20 so they're easy to get. Now if they ain't here for you the first time, just circle the area and powers will rotate. So just do this until you find yourself a Grisbolt. Then guys, I went to this point in the map right here and found myself a Relaxorus. These again guys spawn in at around a level 20. So they're easy to get. Now I bred these together until I got a decent Orzerk. Orzerk is a guarantee but passives were really what I wanted here. So I eventually got that Orzerk, which then I bred with my Grisbolt. This guarantees an Astagon. And I bred these two together guys literally about 20 times before I landed myself the Astagon with that lightning strike skill I was chasing. At first I thought it may not work and then I all of a sudden saw certain skills starting popping up in my Astagon babies and I thought well they are not on Astagon so they must be able to pass down skills and eventually guys I got the Astagon with that lightning strike skill unlocked and equipped so yes I was absolutely buzzing. Now what I'll also say is and this could be very important both the Grisbolt and the Orzerk do not have the lightning strike skill available at those lower levels well at least they didn't for me. I didn't want to waste my cakes just in case and leveled both up to a point of them both unlocking that lightning strike skill which I believe was around a level 30 to 40. I can't really remember. I remember seeing it pop up on screen, but I can't remember. I can't recall. And I wasn't recording what level my uh, Grisbolt and Orzerk were. It may have even been a little bit earlier than this. Again, I can't recall. So once I had this skill unlocked on both my Grisbolt and my Orzerk, I made sure it was equipped to both parents. And then I just had them brood. 
and then it was all about patience again i sat there for quite a while waiting for those eggs after about the 20th one i finally got the acegon with that lightning strike skill and remember guys it's lightning strike there's also a skill called lightning streak which i got confused about at first it's lightning strike you are looking for but by breeding guys this is by far the easiest way of getting this skill and that Asti gun trust me so once you have it you are good to mine rocks the ultimate and easiest most efficient way in the game by simply standing in the center of those rocks have them like equal that around you then just using that lightning strike and calling down that lightning and watching those rocks crumble now once you get your astagon to a level 5 mining, this if you don't know how you do this, you will need another 116 astagons which you will have to infuse into your main astagon with the power condensation machine. Doesn't cost you anything besides other astagons, but once you have a grease bolt and an ozerk, you can just continue on breeding as long as you have the cakes and get unlimited astagons, it's as simple as that. But once you do have it to a level 5 in that mining, it's even crazier. With the right passives too, then leveled up with the statue of power also, there is no better way to farm materials in this game in regards to rocks. Now how I do this isn't to make it more efficient on myself. I have said locations of these ore rocks already pinpointed on my map. You obviously know of some, if not, I'll link a video in the video description of the 20 plus best places we find or farming spots or the best farming spots in the game. So I know where these spots are as I have them marked on my map. My initial setup is I literally just carry the materials on myself to create myself a power box. Simple as that. So I go to these farming spots, people. I place down that power box. Then I'll just use Astagon to break the ore rocks. Use my grapple hook to rotate around and grab that ore. Then I'll go back to my power box, fast travel back to my main base, store that ore. Then I'll just simply dispose of said base I just made from the map menu. Then on to the next spot. And this is by far the fastest way of doing this. It's the most efficient way of doing this. Now, what I did initially was I'd place down my power box, build a storage box, unleash my work powers, which normally consist of the Wumpo Boltons and Anubis. These transport those broken rocks to that storage. I then collect all from that storage and fast travel back to my main base, drop off the materials, and then again, delete that power box base I just made and then travel to the next spot. Well, it's definitely more efficient the first way in just using that grapple hook. Now, keep in mind, you can also use one pole buttons within your party to increase your carry weight too. Now, if you are in need of that Anubis, simply breed together a Relaxorus and a Celery. This guarantees Anubis. If you want a few one pole buttons, it's easy to get also. Breed Grisbolt and Lambo. This guarantees a Kitson. Then breed Kitson with your Ozark. This guarantees you a one pole button and well, just do what you gotta do from here, guys. So with a base full of transporters and your crazy build Astrogon, farming rocks and materials has never been easier in Power World. And well guys, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, leaving a like really helps me out. If you're new around here and want to see more Power World, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.